Welcome to Perth's number one podcast. You're listening to the Jamo and Dylan Show. Yeah, yeah, we're on the way to Dunsborough. A little mad trip with the boys. We're celebrating. G'day, guys, and welcome back to the Jamo and Dylan Show, episode 65. Very excited to be here today. Always, mate. This week, the Jamo and Dylan Show is brought to you by Manscaped. Manscaped is here to give you a New Year's resolution that you'll actually want to keep. The Perfect Package 3.0 is the the below-the-waist grooming package you need to start off strong this year. Come out of quarantine with clean balls thanks to the Lawn Mower 3.0. It's a waterproof and skin-safe trimmer that will reduce nicks. It even has a light so you can see what you're doing. Perfect, mate. Uh, The package includes the Crop Preserver, which is an anti-chafing ball deodorant and moisturiser. I've used it. It's bloody good. Um, It also comes with the Crop Reviver Ball Toner Spray. Need to get on to that. Brother. I Key. need to get onto it. Um, they've even thrown in a shed travel bag. Speaking of comfort, the Manscaped anti chafing boxer briefs, they're also included. So they're really anti chafing this company and it's good. Especially, it comes, especially comes with the weather, in. bro. It's oh, hot. Especially if you're in Australia a or a country man. that's hot. Get twenty percent off and free shipping with the code Jammer and Dylan at checkout. Um, go to manscaped.com for that. That's twenty percent off with free shipping at manscaped.com using Jammer and Dylan. There you go. Different things you were taught as a kid. So the other day, I was at an Italian restaurant with Tay, mm-hmm. and um, there was a guy to the left of us, right? And he was sitting like this. He was sitting upright. For those watching, you'll be able to see what's going on. Sitting upright. Table's here. Yeah. He had his elbows up off the table, and he was eating like this. Yeah. Right? Okay. Very proper. Um, Knows what he's doing. And I hated it. Did ya? I hated it. Why? I looked at him and thought... You are what I never want to be. What? Good posture? Just good everything. <laughs> Every, people are imperfect. I think right? it's okay to up your game at a nice restaurant. Up your game at a nice restaurant, but don't look like a fucktard while doing it. Maybe he's just a classy bloke. I just didn't like him. I don't know. What were you eating like? But are you at the table eating like hunched over the plate? I'm. If no, I, I think I'm. I'm respectful, but I'm not posh upper class okay you know I, I do do what i can to i'm not trying to please anyone you know yeah. um I'm, I'm just trying to live my life and do things efficiently okay i'm not trying to because i think my posture ever since i was a kid has been poor right pretty bad back yep um always you know hunched over i know a little trick to fix your posture i saw it on tiktok okay. it's very good if you again this is a very visual podcast yep so, my posture used to be bad, but I fixed it when I was a teen. Pretty on. Oh, it's cable management, bro. <laughs> anyway, so you go like this. Okay. His hands in front, and then just twist them. And it'll pop your shoulders back. And that's good posture right there. Look. Perfect, mate. I don't like and it. And then it's just come back straight there. I don't like it. Don't like it. I'd no, no, no. When I try and fix my posture, it hurts more because I'm trying to fix oh, what's maybe already you see bent. Maybe a chiro or something. I've yeah. always wanted to... We've said this a million times, bro. I yeah. reckon... We should do it as a video. Oh, bro. Yeah, lots of chiropractors, like, well, they would like the attention. They like Maybe filming we it. Maybe we should um, say, okay, we, we get two for the price of one or something, or even free, and you can just get the exposure. Yeah, 100%. We go there, and then we get people to film us getting our back cracked. It would be I magical. think you'd like that. So, um, I would love it, bro. So, yeah, we'll... We'll look into that, but um. So anyway, you're at the Italian restaurant. Yep. And seeing we're some, posture, and, then, and I'm seeing this bloke, and, and I'm, you're talking I'm thinking, table manners. Yeah, and they were on a nice date. He had a button-up shirt, and was I, they a good-looking couple or not? Sevens. Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah having respectable. a good time. Yeah, yeah, of course. Young, old, mid twenties. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. he's really trying to impress. Okay. Right. So it's he, early he's on. doing everything right. He's okay. being a gentleman, and I was respecting it. Right. And then as soon as he sat down with a straight back and his elbows off the table and doing... Like, this is the thing. They were bitch cuts. Uh, he was like, I get what you mean. So, so he's cutting through whatever he was and he's doing little bitch cuts. And then he like, he, you know, do a little little scoop into his mouth and it was... Oh, I, I don't know. Too much of an act for you? It was an act. Man was DiCaprioing that bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And she was falling for it. She was like, yeah, this is him. Years. This is him. He was taught beautiful manners. What was she wearing? A little dress? Like, or some... I can't remember. Okay. Wasn't looking at her, you know? Um, but, yeah. So, different things we were taught as a kid. Um, in terms of table manners, what were you taught? 
Well, we don't. We rarely eat at a table in okay. my house, so not many, to be honest. Yeah, I can't. That's not something. We only would eat at a table on, you know, like a special occasion, like, like when all a, the families together. Yeah. Otherwise, growing up, I just ate dinner with my brother. Yeah. And then when he's left, you two I just, just savages, ate. animals. Yeah, just watching the fucking. You know, TV together, yeah. and then whacking it down the gob. Then he left, and then I just eat dinner by myself. But I like to eat dinner by myself a lot of the time, just because yeah. it's I like putting a little movie on, sit in the backyard, maybe, and just it's just a nice moment. Yeah, to yeah, appreciate. Yeah, hundred yeah, yeah. percent. Eat, get my I food like down. So as when I grew up, I had a lot of dinners around the dinner table, right? Yeah. And it was probably about fifty fifty in Australian households, like half families would, half would. Yeah, some eat every night, bro. Yeah. Like Carly's family eat every night. Yeah, which I find it boring, just because what do you have to talk about every night? Yeah, well, you talk about work and school, and it's just yeah, it gets a bit repetitive. Yeah. Um. So yeah, this has all happened, and then I'm just trying to think, what did I, what did I learn? So I learned, okay, elbows on the table. Yeah, that's a pretty common one. Yeah. However, you know. I'm I'm lazy, so I can't keep my elbows off the table. I don't table. think that's the worst thing ever. You know? No, um, chew with your mouth closed. Obviously, definitely, you're a yeah. pig if you chew with your mouth. Oh, that one, yeah. Um, napkins and stuff. I don't want like the person across from me to have stuff all over their face. No, keep your face clean. Yeah, 100%. and clothes clean as well. Wipe after if you like. You know if it's a messy mm. bite, just wipe. Don't if, make the other a, person have to tell you to do it. If a restaurant offers you the little. Um, Oh, what do they call it? It's a thing that sits on your lap so you don't get stuff on oh, you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or a little bib. Wear it. If you I wear wouldn't it, wear a bib. No, I wouldn't wear a bib, but like the thing on your lap. Yeah, that's fine. Because yeah, if you've got some nice like white, like a white dress mm. on or something, yeah, you don't want to murk that up. So, um, yeah. And you were saying there's something... Yeah, there's ways you place your knife. So say you're, you know, you've eaten three fourths of your mm. meal, right? The waitress or waiter might not know if you're done or not. The way you place your knife on the on the plate yeah. indicate whether you're done or not. Okay. And also, once we were at the Crown eating dinner, and Carly had finished, I was still no, I had finished. She was still eating, yeah, and yeah. the waitress took my plate, and right. Carly was annoyed. She said, "That's rude. You're meant to wait till both people are done." Okay. To take plates and stuff, and she was re- she gets really um, agitated at little things like that in yeah. restaurants. Like she she wants it done properly. So her restaurant etiquette. Because I didn't really care at all, you know. Right. Like, okay. I also heard that with the placement of the the knives and forks, this is what Tay told me. I'm not sure if it's true or not. Um, if you cross your knife and fork mm-hmm. when they come and like pick it up, when the waitress or waiter comes and picks it up, that means it was a bad meal. Oh, okay. And if you have them side by side straight, it means it was good and thank oh, you. I didn't know that. I'm not sure how true it is, but you know, that's just what I've been told. There you go. Bit of restaurant etiquette. Mm. Um, one of my mates, Elder, he brought this to the table, right? He said he really wants to know what girls like. Yep. Six packs or dad bods, right? So obviously, if we're looking at it from our point of view, six packs every day. Yeah, I always think that girls are talking shit when they say they'd yeah. prefer a dad bod, but maybe not. So we want your guys' opinion but on But are we this. also saying, like, can it, are we classifying, like, I wouldn't say we have dad bods ourselves, but no. we don't have six packs. So, no. But are we still in the dad bod category? Would we have to be on that team? We're in the in-betweeners, I think. We're in the middle. So at the end of the day, I think, so we'll look, go six packs versus in betweeners and dad bods. I think. Look, there was you and I have never been muscular. No, right? no, no, no. But there was definitely a time where you and I both had six packs. Yeah, just because you know being skinny, Natural, but also playing athletic, a lot of sport, yeah. and you, you're going to have something going on, mm-hmm. being being somewhat fit in your teen years. So what, let's say when we were 17, 18. 16, I reckon my peak would have been like 16, okay. 17 when I was at my prime. Yeah. 15, 16, like in that was when I reckon he would smoke me in every yeah. athletic event now. Okay. Yeah. Well, you don't have a hip anymore. Nah, so, you know... Dill's got a bung hip Can't for those. do much. Yeah, you know about my knee, now you know about his hip. So, yeah, I guess um, he brought to the table... What does he have? He reckons he has dad bod. I'd say that he's getting towards dad bod, but he's not, okay, not, he's there, not there yet. yet. Um, it's funny, he's got his lower half, so legs, skinny and athletic, and then his upper half is starting to... Yeah. <laughs> It's, uh, th- girls are so different, you know. Some like the real big muscular mm-hmm. blokes. Some don't. Some like a tone. But then some would also just like a normal... I don't know. But girls are a some, bit different. Yeah, they are. We look at the way that women see men and they'll be like, 
he has really nice eyes mm. or look at his arms. Yeah. Right? That's not something we generally look at with women. But even though... And, uh, I th- some guys will have big arms because they're kind of fat and girls will think that means he has big arms. Yes. No, he's a fat bloke. Yeah, like, it's annoying. Relax. Yeah. That's him lifting the burgers to his yeah, mouth. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. But um, six, I don't know. We got to, to the girl listeners out there, what do you prefer? Or can each one suit each different guy? Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? Maybe that's a thing as well. Because his concern was the fact that he's been going to the beach a lot lately. His girlfriend lives near the beach, Scarborough Ways, oh, right? lucky man. So he's been there for the last four days in a row, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Right? And he looks around at all the other blokes and he reckons a lot of them have great bodies down Scarb's Way. Okay. Right? And he feels like he's not in that, that category. That category? But do girls still like looking at him, even though his body isn't as in shape, but it's not a bad looking body? Probably then, right? Maybe. But for example, you and I are going to, beach, to, going to the beach yes. after the podcast, right? So we'll be able to see with all the different people in our group. We don't have many overweight people. No, no one's overweight in our group. No. We're all, we're all pretty good. Yeah. But we're all, we're not where we were. No. At one stage. Some of the boys go gym. Yeah. So. It'll be interesting to see yeah. who gets looks. Yeah. Yeah. It is interesting, isn't so, it? So, yeah, dad bods versus six packs. Um, I reckon it's going to be pretty 50-50. I, I think it's just, yeah, it depends on the guy and what yeah. girls like. and. But you I flip the script, men looking at women, we're misogynistic pigs and we're just going 90% guys will want athletic body. Yeah. Like, or like or you just can, like, in shape. Yeah. Yeah. It just depends what you're into. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, this is a funny little thing here. So, I was talking to an old mate from school, Shub. Yep. Right? Um, avid podcast listener. And he was saying, like, oh, how do you go with, um, like, the insults or things that people say? So, for example, last podcast, we were talking about, like, how we wore our backpacks to school. Yeah. Right, and I said, "Oh yeah, I wore, you know, with I did two straps for a yep. few years when I first went to the school, and then some girl called Leah in the comment section goes, Jamo definitely looks like a Saw double that. double strapped bag wearer with the little clips at the front. That's an insult, and it, a front is, strap is, too. Yeah. I remember she said it, it yeah. is an insult, and I I like stuff like that. Yeah, like." Because I love feeling... Because we dish it out. We dish it out to everyone, yeah, right? Yeah, so, to course. get a bit back, it, it feels good when it's constructed like that. Because I I know if I was on the other side of the camera, I would think I was a double okay. strap wearer. Yeah. Right? But it gives you... Do you do that little kind of like... You know when you see something and I saw it's like and I was a little like, laugh grunt kind of like... Oh, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, like oh, the giggle grunt. Yeah, yeah, yeah giggle yeah. grunt. Yeah. The giggle grunt. You can just call it a grunt because the G at the start. Yeah. But. No, because you do a bit of a... A gunt. What? It's a gunt. Gunt? Yeah, a giggle grunt. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I was like, what's a gunt, bro? Um, yeah, so I saw it and I did the, the gunt and then... Um, it just sounds offensive, doesn't it? It does sound... It sounds like a really bad Yeah, word. it does, but that's gunt. all right. I'm not a shit gunt. Um, yeah, so... She sent this comment and I've I've just gone, oh, thanks, Leah. Yeah. A little passive-aggressive comment. It. Yeah. And then I was talking with Shub and I said, look, there was an insult that I received a few weeks back. I didn't tell you about it. It wasn't like abusive. It was so funny. Okay. But it was so out of pocket, right? This guy's messaged me and it was about my nose, right? Okay. And I know I've got a pretty big nose, right? And he goes, bro... The longest limb of your body is your nose. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> and I was like, "Holy fuck, it's not a Should limb." Meet but meet Lucky, Lucky Harrow. Yeah, that's Bunter nose. Yeah, he's yeah. Oh yeah. But I was like, "Fuck, it's it's funny how he's ripped into my nose, and I've sort of enjoyed it because yeah, he's called way. it a limb. That's yeah. how long it is. It's creative. Yeah, like side profile, quite big." Yeah, I'll, I'm going to... When we get money, I'm going to get a nose job. Just Are you? Yeah, just to straighten it no, up. No, to straighten it. Yeah, yeah. because it's crooked. Yeah. yeah. Just from, I'm not going to get it, like, taken. But well, I do want to get Did you get a footy in the face or you get kicked in the face? In the face you got booted. Smother, yeah. yeah. And At I least think, you're... It was a one percenter. Yeah, putting in the effort. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I definitely would like to get it straight, like, mm. you know, put back into place properly. Cause nothing wrong with being bent, though. <sighs> um, Good friend of the show, T. Rivers. Oh, man. Trent. 
He has a little a thing that he wanted us to talk about um, in terms of laps, right? Okay. So, athletic, athletic laps. So, he's been training to go back to Melbourne Footy Club and yep. he's been doing laps around the oval. Yep, been running around. We've running around the oval. Running around with Mitch. Mm. And now, he's confused because people do laps of a pool, but you're going in a straight line. Okay. In comparison to doing laps in a circle circular, or oval. Circular. Oval. Laps of a pool. And I was confused Why don't you just at swim first. around the pool? Yeah. Well, there's lane ropes restricting True. you. I so, it, is it okay to call it a lap? But then what is a lap? What is a lap? And then I was talking to Dad and he reckons it's just the completion of a of one task or well, something. It's like, you know, in racing they do a lap and it's da 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 It's a war circle. Yeah, yeah, I guess it's the, comple- the completion of the set course. Yeah. So, let's have a look. Um... One circuit around a racetrack. Controversial. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, so it's it's a double entendre. I guess it's just the, whatever the length of the thing is, right? Yeah. All right, so you swim two laps or run two laps. Yeah, but it is interesting that it's... So it actually wasn't that complex at the end of the day. But one's on the outside, one's just up and down. Yeah. Interesting. Just want to say um, a quick thank you to Three Vins. Yep, good lads. Clothing company sent us a few clothes. Um, We're wearing them today, repping them. To get us through the podcast season. Yep. Um, but you also had a sweater that's going to come. Yep, that'll come when, when it, no, it's 40 degrees. When it gets a bit cooler, I'll wear that. And um, yeah, you got a, a shirt for your girlfriend to rep. Yep. Little so so she'll, be, sweet. she'll be wearing that out. Yep. So um, yeah, thanks to Three Fins good for lads, that. Good good company. 100%. Lincoln Bio. Yeah. yeah. Why not? Good on them. Um, all right. So yesterday. Tay saw a psychic. Did she? She did. How much? They're expensive, eh? Uh, like 80 bucks. I'm not sure. I, I remember ask. asking it was like $80. I for didn't her. ask. But she like she looked up reviews and made sure that there was a, like a decent one. My mum used to see psychic um, back in the day. Where'd she go? Oh, is this... I remember her name. I don't know where she... But her name was Fran, right? Fran. Fran the psychic. Pretty accurate. Okay. But um, like then she just kind of went missing. Mm. So mum doesn't know where she is anymore. What do you reckon the accuracy levels are? I reckon it would vary. I think some do have, mm. like some would have that connection to the universe to be able to get vibes and okay. see what's going on. I do think some, but I think a lot out there are just talking out. Oh yeah, shit. talking out the whole. I remember on Sunrise, there was this gay bloke who was a gay psychic and he would, you know, they would say, oh, what's your message to Tauruses today? And yeah. then he would be like, oh, just, you know, have a really good day. Yeah. Look, at, look out for, there's someone who really wants to talk to you. Or mm. So, yeah. That's where I draw the line. Yeah, a lot of them are. A lot of it's very generalized. As soon as stars and crystals come into play, that's where I'm out the out the door. But I definitely think some people could get a vibe or an energy. Mm. And that's oh. like I saw a TikTok the other day of a bloke who, it was like, oh, what um sounds like a cult but isn't. Yep. And he was like, oh, people that believe in astrology. Yeah. And then he went through all the reasons why, and he was like, how are like people buying a crystal and thinking that it's going to make their life better. Yeah, from a two dollar shop. Yeah. If 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 I met the fucking Dalai Lama mm. and he gave me a something yeah. feel, like a crystal, but from him that yeah. I would be like, I feel like this would definitely have some good energy. That means a lot more than. But not from you know. Yeah. Apu's fucking two dollar store. Yeah. Certified crystal. They bought it off of Alibaba or something. Yeah, they did. AliExpress the wholesale, know? and now they're just selling so it what, for Tay quarter. So goes to a psychic. Where? Um, there's one in like a fairy type shop in Maddington, in Maddington okay. Central. Oh, okay. Yeah. And how long or did she tell you what? Well, to do? well, I was at work at the time and, and I found out a couple of hours before and I was a bit skeptical. Right. And then like, then I started getting a bit worried. I was like, what if they just start like spouting you know, shit to her and she believes you, Do you have a boyfriend yet? Well, oh, maybe you shouldn't, you know, yeah. maybe you shouldn't be part of your life. You need to break free. All right. Well, here we go. So, did so, Tay tell you everything the psychic told her? I haven't seen her since, but she sent a 12, 12 um, dot points. There probably was 14, but she didn't tell you all of them. No, she told me all of them. You sure? Yeah. Okay. I'm very sure. Let's go through them. All right. Okay, where's my phone at? Let's go through it. We'll go through some of them. Yeah. All right. So, she's in a stage of her life where she's changing and making big decisions. Isn't everyone? You could say that about anyone's yep. time. And yep, that's very um, generic. Struggling with money. Yep. Who isn't? Um, I'm taking on too much, causing negative thoughts. That's a bit of everyone. Um, but she does have been taking Taylor a lot of, go- lot of jobs. Much, 
Um, I'll get two amazing job opportunities mid-year, but I'll only take one of them. Um, uh, some other stuff that's pretty personal. But then there's one here, right? Your boyfriend's a fuckhead. Someone around me or very close to me will be or is telling me lies. Oh, that's throwing you under the... Now she's doubting you, isn't she? I've done nothing wrong and I'm Did thrown under you? the fucking bus. Did she... So Did she, she didn't doubt me, but Jamie, I'm... Jamie, have you been lying? But, but I'm thinking, what good can come from going to a psychic? They fill her with 12 or 11 dot points that I don't even, infiltrate her mind is, with right, negativity. The thing... I don't want a psychic to look you're going to have in two months. Yeah, brain something cancer. Something terrible is going to happen to you. Mm. What? Thanks. No, yeah. it's not. You've just wished it upon me. Yeah. Devil. You put it into Devil, the universe. Satan. Yeah. Nah. So was the and you said there was personal stuff there. Is that stuff more accurate? Is that uh, more a little bit. I'd say it's fifty fifty. Yeah. Or maybe like a sixty forty. Like maybe a, we should go. Some of it was good. Um Should we go to the same one? Maybe she's a psychic, she she would have seen you come and she knows that you're you she'll know that you're the boyfriend. Well, she should say you you're fucking. She should, or we could you know, she just looks in your eyes. She goes, talked about you yesterday. Yeah. Liar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I can't believe that. So I was at work and I've just received the message of all the things that I've probably done I think wrong. They cost it. Yeah, yeah, true. I think it's like 60 bucks or something. Or seven Come bucks. on. I'd love a free sesh. Yeah, that'd be good. Um, yeah, and someone close to you is lying. And, and then, so did she start going through people who she thinks it could be? No, but in her head, she obviously would have. She'd probably be thinking about it right now, right? I'm the closest person to her. So I'm Doesn't, under... It could be. I, I've been thrown under the bus. Will be or is telling you lies. Will be or is telling you. So who else could it be in her life? I don't know. Friend, well, mum, yeah, mum, well, dad. She's got a few close friends and then telling her mum and dad. Lies. But she lives by herself now. So her closest people are the ones that see you, her most often. Housemate. Me. Yeah, but she hasn't seen a housemate in weeks because she's been on a trip. So, I've been thrown under the bus. I don't really know what to do. I'm scared. Um, is it real? Is it fake? I don't well, know. Well, I, I don't but know. Did, so, she gave some stuff about the future. You'll get two amazing job opportunities. Yeah, yeah. There's a few. Th- so we'll be able to revisit this in a year and see, like, what? Who's on what? Was it right? Do people try and change what they said and, like, change their future? Or is Based that Based on just that? Or is this already locked in, b- you b- know, set in stone? Yeah. I don't know. That's confusing, I guess we've got to find out. I've never been a huge believer in it, but my mum got approached by a psychic and said, you have psychic qualities and abilities. And my grandmother apparently used to predict shit and had psychic qualities too. My grandmother's no longer with us. Mum is with us, but doesn't use it um, to her ability. But yeah. All right. So at the Olympics, yeah? Yeah. So, Michael Phelps has won fucking a f- lot of Lots. gold medals, yeah? Mm-hmm. Now, they're still valid. Amazing athlete, you know, v- good on him. He's However, gun. I just think, you know, 50 metres forward. Just think about it in, you know, I know it's called backstroking, but okay. 50 metres forward, okay. 100 metres forward, yep. 50 metres backwards. Yep. You know, there's four different styles. Freestyle, backstroke, yep. butterfly. Mm-hmm. All I'm saying is if it was in the... If they did, you know, track that way, 50 yeah. metres sprint, yeah. Usain Bolt, another gold. 50 <laughs> metres backwards, he's probably got that. 50 <laughs> metres sideways, 50 metres crawling. Like, I feel like he that would double his tally as well. Because it's a swimming has a lot of the same events at every different... They do a 50, 100, a 200, a 400, an 800. It's just a lot of, yeah. a lot of different distances for the same stroke. Mm-hmm. And then... You know, you could completely different sport, but yeah, if you if you were to translate it into track events, yeah, imagine running backwards in the gold medal. Yeah, imagine race. watching that. Ready, set, and just people fall over, crack their head, hop, skip sideways or something. They need to give him more opportunity, but maybe it is, you know, track one track gold mm. is the equivalent of two or three swimming ones. Well, also we're having a chat before the podcast about the way Michael Phelps is built. Can you yeah. ex- can you describe so that? So he's built to be a swimmer. Perfect. Right. Science. So he's got long torso. He's six foot four. Yep. Yep. With a six seven wingspan. Mm-hmm. You long know, good arms. Small legs. Short legs, legs but which powerful. Is, which is good. Apparently that makes him like a propeller and big feet, big flippers on him. Yeah, massive feet. So he's his body reduces is built to reduce drag yeah, you in call, the water. You called him a boat. He's basically <laughs> a human boat. He's manufactured to be yeah. a, a swimmer. He was probably built in a lab. 
Yeah, he must have been. I feel like that's what they should have a thing where you go in, they test you and tell you what, what your body would be, what, what sport you'd be perfect for. Yes. Because we might have perfect bodies for something we've never tried and before. And maybe even do a brain scan to see, like, for example, yeah. what position you could play in that sport. Yeah, so be like, look, you're perfectly built for this. You can be a centre attacking mid because of your good vision. Yeah. So and so. Definitely. I think that's something they need to look into just to help help people identify the sport they're in. 100%. What they can be good at, you for know? For sure. Definitely. America. We touched on it a bit earlier, but they're just crazy. Yeah, they're struggling. They're struggling. Running, Look, through, the, running through the capital. And they just whack it on fire. People dead, right? Why are they so crazy, bro? They've gone nuts over the whole Trump-Biden um, situation. And Trump's just said, Look, yeah, well, there'll be a nice, smooth transition yeah, on finally, the 20th. Like, he's finally given yeah. up. He's gone to get. And everyone know. started to lose their money on sports betting that. It's yeah. all finally been taken out. Sad for me. I thought I was, you know, had a cheeky win, but yeah. should have bet on JB. Should have <laughs> bet on JB. Um,. There should be a market for when Kamala Harris will take over. Oh, it's got to be soon. Yeah, well, Biden wouldn't have much longer. He hasn't left. got much left in him, poor fella. He's lost his mind, but... um, That'll be interesting to see how a woman rules the biggest, the basically, world. the world. Yeah. Let's see how she goes. It will be interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Imagine if she just... Because, like, it's been so long. You know, a girl's never been in power mm. like that, really. It goes to her head. She just fucks men over like, completely. She just goes... All men are not allowed to work. Dead. Oh, that's like, what? And we just get to stay at home? Fuck yeah. Or we have to, we Slave, become slaves, yeah. yeah. We do, or we can't do anything. Damn. It's scary. I feel like she's a bit crazy. I, yeah, I reckon no, she's no, got a bit of, you, I can, she's I, got I crazy can see something, eyes, bro. Yeah, in the eyes. That's the thing. People might not like it because they're, ever, you know, most people mm. are politically correct, so they're pro Harris and Biden. I don't yeah. mind Joe Biden. I reckon he's, he's an old geezer. Yeah. I, I don't mind them, but... I she's got crazy eyes, bro. And, and that's a fair assumption to make. She's got crazy, crazy eyes. Yeah, she's up to something. Bro, she's got... I'm telling you, she's crazy. She's got crazy eyes. I know, it's she's not... She's going to get up to some shit. People always go, oh, stay out of it. You're not for America. Nah, but look, America are huge. You like, can't it, tell me when you look at her, you don't see crazy eyes. Yeah. She's crazy. Uh, nutter. Nutter, bro. Nutter, I'm bruv. scared now. I don't know what's going to happen. They're all fucked. That's right. America's fucked. We're but so far away though; they can't do much. We're yeah, good. yeah. I wonder if there'll there'll be a world war in our lifetime. I don't know. And Probably not a conventional. One. No. Maybe a cyber war. Yeah, yeah. Which we would have no part in. No way. No technology. Yeah, we don't know how no. to combat that. I'm good. Take my details. Yeah, I'm not signing up. I'll I'll be in the medic camp yeah. when people get <laughs> finger sprains. <laughs> Nothing too serious. No. Nah. Just like the yeah. You know, yeah. rolled ankles, strapping a bit of ice up. on it. Go on, mate. Off you go. Back out there. You're a hero. <laughs> Fuck that, bro. 100%. Fuck being in war. Kanye West, Kim Kardashian, done. True love's not real, bro. No. Nah. Everyone thought, look, they look so good together. They are in the best relationship. They did, as a couple, power couple. Oh, they've taken over yeah, the world definitely. in terms of social media personalities. But he's like a nutter. Influencers. He is a nutter, nutter, He's nutter, another nutter. crazy one, bro. Yeah. He's crazy. Mm, he's a nutcracker. But he doesn't give me the crazies like Kamala Harris does with those crazy eyes, bro. He actually gives me. He does give he's me. He's crazy. Maybe it's people but, that start with K. Oh, shit. Because okay. we, we know someone that's... Yeah. Oh, maybe people who start with K are crazy. Can't Imagine if then she hires Kanye as the VP. He goes, come on. Wow. Wouldn't well, let's past take America. Over. No. But I do see crazy in Kanye, and a lot of people will be like, yeah, it's the mental health issues, and it probably is. He's also just a crazy bloke, too. Yes. He needs that to make his songs and stuff, you know? Yeah, no, that's why people take a lot of psychedelics and stuff when they make music, because they need that, um, ex they need to tap yeah. into the other part of their brain. Do you reckon he's having the affair with um, Jeffree Star? Jeffree Star, I Jesus hope not. Christ. Well, Jeffree Star scares me. Apparently, there was a lyric, I'm not sure... Has Jeffree Star made music before? Not sure, bro. Might have been I don't Kanye. follow any of um, yeah, yeah. Jeffree Star's. No, neither. Um, but there was a lyric in, I don't know, I didn't read the full article, I should have, but I didn't. And it was touching on those two meeting 10 years ago or something. Okay. Kanye and Jeffrey. So Jeffrey would have been a nobody then, right? Yeah. I, I'm not sure his journey. Like, I'm yeah. not sure what's happened. Um, but... 
do you think that Kanye... No, come on. Sure, I'm not no. putting it past him. I can't. Maybe he's just doing it to make a big album. He's got to get some crazy experiences. Mm. What if he just drops something insane? Jeez. Is Kim going to remarry? Who's she going to get with? Wow. Imagine her with a new man. My goodness. Who would it be? I don't know. Because you can't get much bigger in terms of a well-known person than Kanye. Who is Kanye. she going to get with? Trump. Do you reckon it's going to... Oh, imagine that. Will her next boyfriend... Is she going to stay with the black men, do you reckon? Or maybe go for a Spanish, a yeah, white, like a an Asian? Or will she go for a non-famous? Nah, I think she'll have to go famous. It'll still be famous. Just because of her brand. There's going to be like an athlete. Or, it's so hard to know. Hemsworth. Imagine that. Mm. Kim K, Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> they could just take the world over then. Yeah. But I think Leo's, he's on that climate change. He's got more important he things is. on his mind. 100%. I, I saw an article about him, actually. Um, he was in France mm-hmm. in, in for a summer yep. at a film festival, I think. And he made a bet Fun. with his mate that he could have sex with six um, models a night. And a, he, a night. And he succeeded. Wow. Yeah, six, like, they were like Victoria's Secret ones and like supermodels. Oh, he, so he's gone six times in a night? Yeah, oh, he'd bring like three in. Okay. You know, do yeah. it, do it, bang, bang, bang. Oh, yeah, so he gets it out in two sessions. Finish up yeah. with one maybe later on with yeah. for a nice cuddle and a. So there you cuddle go. A bit of a, fondle, yeah. Apparently, he's a bit of a player, Leo. Yeah. Likes yeah. his um, 20, like yeah. young 20 women. That's as what well. I was about to say. He loves his younger women. No, 19, 20, around 20 oldies. 21. He's, he's getting close. Yeah. He's getting close. Doesn't want no 45-year-old. There is a lot of, no, washed out whale. Washed out. <laughs> but he's, um, he would be finding it hard because young girls are becoming more deceptive in the way they, oh, yeah. in their age and the way they look, right? And we saw that with the Kid Leroy's oh, new man, girlfriend. Oh, man, come on. Insane. Katarina. Insane. I don't know how she's 16. Can't be. Can't be. False. False like, advertising. That's ridiculous. Yeah. And He's like, gone from a, living in the fucking Bronx of Australia, yep. little crackhead boy, <laughs> to making millions dating, I don't know, a super, a, super a future model. supermodel. Future supermodel, yeah. Super woman, super human. Yeah. Insane, bro. Super girl. She's 16. We need to remember that. No, you're 16. Young woman. Young woman. Yeah. She definitely doesn't look like a girl, bro. She's... No. She's grown. How yeah. old's he? Is he still... Is he 17. 18 yet? I think oh. he's 17. Damn, he's young. Hey Siri, how old is the kid Leroy? The kid Leroy is seventeen. Still seventeen. 17. And people didn't like um, last week when I did a Hey Siri because oh, their, all, their, all their phones went off. Funny, it's gonna happen again. Funny, so. funny. Um, but go. yeah, she she's an age catfish. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Opposite. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Act your age. Crazy. Listen, that's so. Power couple. Good, good luck to him. Yeah. A lot of people are saying they hope she breaks his heart so he makes a really good album. Oh, well, that, yeah. So. I think that's probably bound to happen. I mean, they're real young. <sighs> oh, yeah. It's young love, isn't it's it? It's real young. Young love. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see. But, um, yeah, let's get on to voice messages. Let's do it. Hope you're enjoying the Jamo and Dylan show. It's now time to have your stories heard and your questions answered. To be featured on the potty... Message the boys at Jamo and Dylan on Instagram. Dougal. Dougal. What a name. Dougal. All right, fellas. If everyone had, like, FIFA-style stats, like intelligence, athleticism, sex appeal, style, all that sort of thing, who in the world would have the highest overall? I rate the question. Man's I on do. a walk or something. Yeah, He's a lot of outdoors. A bit of a walk. Good, we're with him on that on that fitness journey. We are. Um, now we've actually we didn't come have prepared. style. No. So do we take one of these out? Maybe. Um, let me so, see. So what we've done on a FIFA card, there are six main card stats, right? Uh, face. Maybe we we'll take out charisma. Stat. That can be in sex appeal. Yeah. And Slash then we'll social. and then we'll put style. Okay. So we've compiled. Six statistics that yeah. we'll base people And we off. took some of his, old yeah, dukes. we did. Um, so what we're going to do here is we'll go through the stats that we've compiled. So, and we'll, we'll have to choose a person to base it off. To. Yeah. So, for, so he said intelligence, sex appeal, athleticism, and style. Yeah. 
plus wealth. We did wealth because it is important. It Money is. matters. And then social. And social like so, is just how you communicate yeah, with people. Yeah, how you are and how out you and act. about. Because that's, that's a big one, I reckon. It is. So basically, we're rating people on this scale. And then they're going to get an as, overall as human beings. At the end and of their it. overall is intelligence, sex appeal, athleticism, social style, and wealth combined. Yes. So we've written a few down here. Elon Musk, right? He's just become the wealthiest man in the world. Yep. Let's get his overall. I'm going to get the calculator. Get up. the calculator. Everyone knows I love my maths. All right. Intelligence. Musk. 99. Whack him at 99. Done. Man's a genius. Done. Sex appeal. Drop it significantly. Probably. Yeah, the, probably is it in the 60s? 50? Do yeah. girls find Musk attractive at all? I, I, I wouldn't think so. I think he's a very average. Let's just give human. him a 60. Okay, give him Because of the 60. money. Because that right. helps as well. It does. Yep. Athleticism. We haven't seen him do anything extraordinary in terms of athletic feats. So we can't give him anything high. 50. Just Done. give him the average. Done. Right? Social. So how would he act? He did go on Joe people. Rogan potty. So Spoke well. A bit robotic. So you drop Do we give him a 60s? So give him 60. We'll give him, I reckon, like a 64. Okay, give him 64. Wealth, 99. 99. He's the richest man in the world right yep. now. Um, and then style. I think he's just normal, right? We'll give him like a 70. Because he just, I think he just wears normal, like just a black t-shirt. Just fits in. Yeah. Okay. So that's 442 divided yep. by 6. 73 overall. Okay. So See, as, a, as a human t- being, is 73. Is that too low? Have we done him dirty? No. Because Are our ratings off? No. Because if he walks into a nightclub, right, how many girls are going to go home with him? Yeah, I and mean, we t- if he was an Elon Musk, yeah, yeah. I know, yeah, true, seventy three. So, so, so he's a silver. Yeah, no, yeah, but he's he's a rare silver, rare card. rare silver card. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe even an inform. Yeah, because he's he's got the most money yeah, in the world. Yeah. So let's do Chris Hemsworth. Thor himself. Thor. So intelligence. We don't know the bloke, but he we co- think he wouldn't he'd be stupid. Be, he'd have to be pretty good. 70, 70 something because if 70. we're comparing him to Musk, yeah, so we'll give him like a 72. Yeah, sex appeal, he's up high in the 90s, It'd have to be like a 95. 95, yeah, good looking, well built, yeah, no, no issues there. Athleticism, he's you, in shape, you have to go 90. Yeah, he's you, he's got something about him, yeah, yeah, he's a physical beast. Social, I reckon he'd be a good laugh, good, he's been on a lot of like shows, yeah, in Just, the 80s, yeah, what an 85. Higher? Yeah, lower. give him 85. 85. <laughs> <laughs> Wealth? Compared to Elon. Compared to Elon. So if you go in the, the... So what would our wealth be? 12? Yeah, no, low. That's the thing. That really brings us down. Okay. <laughs> we, should, 90, we should do our own in a minute. 99 is, you know, his wealth is insane. Yeah, yeah. So um, um, Chris Hemsworth, is he in the 80s or a 70? 75. Yeah, because, yeah, I have to agree. Just be, yeah. if we're comparing, mm-hmm. yep. And then style. He'd have to be quite high in style. Is this an 88? Yeah, that's high. Divided by six. 84 overall. He's an that's 84 a, that's overall good, human. That's good. He, that's a rare gold card. You'd want him in your starter team. Well, you'd want him in your team. Because he general. wouldn't be a billionaire, so he can't be in the... I think for, like, wealth, Yeah. the, the 90 plus is for, like, 10 billionaires and 100 mm-hmm. billionaires. Yeah. The 80 to 90 would have to be like billionaires. Yeah. Like just single digit billionaires. And then the 70 to 80 is all the million and 100 millionaires probably. You know? Okay. I think so. Now, we've also written down um, bloody... who's well, Jeff Bezos' wife, right? So oh, she, because she's, she's the world's richest woman. Just to give, wife. Just to give a... Yeah. So let's go here and she's let's the world's richest woman just to Bezos give a bit of context. wife. Because we need the visual. We need the visual of her. Mackenzie Scott. So. Okay. Oh, fuck. So, wealth is a 99, world's richest woman. Yep. Um, intelligence. She'd have to be smart to get rid of him and take all that money. 80. 84. Yep. Um, sex appeal. She's, She's okay. okay. She's yeah, okay. she actually is all right. But a bit weird there, long neck. 75? I would 73. 74. Just, just because of that. We'll meet in the middle. That's scary. 74. All right. Um, Sex appeal. No, that's what we just did, eh? Yep. Athleticism. Don't know. Um, just generous. 60. F- she could have been an athlete back in the day. You don't know. She's very tall. Or was Bezos small? I think it's 65? Small. Yeah, go 65. I'm not going to give her too many favours. Style. Poor. 
It, it's that's terrible. But that dress is nice. That dress. Oh, uh, I th- maybe she's okay. Oh, uh, sixty, sixty-two. No, I reckon a bit higher. You reckon? She seems to dress well for events. Did you see that floral though? Yeah, but look at that. That orange dress is great. Mm. Oh, that's not that good. Seven. Uh, Sixty-five. 60, yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll settle with that. And wealth ninety-nine. Okay. So what is that? That wasn't all six. I think we're missing one. Athleticism. Social. 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 Um, Fuck, I've never seen her talk or anything. Neither. Huh? So we, I think we're just a seventy, just to okay, just to be generous yeah. and nice. She's a 76 overall. So she's higher than Musk. Yeah. I think that's wrong. But it's because wrong. people... That's just because of the sex appeal and athleticism. See, is that ratings off or is this a true reflection of people? Maybe it is. Who else could we do? <coughs> I don't know. Because obviously if you... It seems like if you're a, like Chris Hemsworth, his looks... We translated that into he's going to be good social. Well, yeah. yeah so it helps a lot. <laughs> yeah. Well... Intelligence, wealth, they sort of go into each other. Yeah, they're hand in hand in a way. And the other four Af- kind of... Yeah, mix in. So basically, if you're good looking and can dress well... You're going to get a higher rating. People, you're going to be... No, that a, basically is the world though, actually, when you think about being. it. Yeah, I think no, this is quite good. I want to do one accurate. more person. Let's think. Who's, should we do like a mate? No, no, because they're just poor, so their yeah, wealth no, is no, a five. No, the mate. average lowers. <laughs> okay, no, let's do a mate. This is going to be funny. <laughs> Should we do Lockie Harrell? We'll do Lockie. All right. El Chapo. <laughs> intelligence. He's intelligence. He had a 33 ATAR. So give him the 33 intelligence. <laughs> yeah. Sex appeal. He's decent looking bloke. Yeah. So what was Chris Hemsworth in the 90s? Yeah. But also, you got to... Bro, you put Elon Musk at a 65 or something. Yeah, he's better looking than Elon Musk, Lockie is. Yeah. But then also... Lockie sometimes can be low on confidence. Yeah, but we're just going... This is only looks right now we're doing. Sex appeal. So... But if you've got a low, confident, good-looking person... No, but then that, that goes into social, I reckon, more. Mm. True. Sex appeal. What would you do for Lockie? I don't know. What do we do give, give him? Do we give him 80? Or is that... We'll be nice. Okay, 80. Good for him. Athleticism. He's not the worst. He used to be okay. 75. Yeah, yeah. Social. I think he's quite good with people. He is good with people. 75. 75. Wealth. 10. Okay. Has to be low, just because... And then style. I think he's pretty good with yeah, style. Yeah, we'll give him general. like an 85. Give him higher. 88. Yep, he'll like that. 60 overall bloke. There you go, you're bronze. 60 overall. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> The wealth cuts deep, bro. That that <laughs> ten for wealth, you know. We, we gave him a thirty-three <laughs> for intelligence. That was probably a bit mean as well. Should we do us? Just no, but we'll do us as like if we were merged together. Jamal and Dylan so, as so a duo, as a person. So what's right? our wealth? As a our wealth. Oh fuck. Has to be. We'll go no, twenty because yeah, it's yeah. more than lucky because we're a duo. Yeah. Okay. Twenty. Um, athleticism quite good. I would say it's still 80. good. Yeah. Yeah. Intelligence. Now, we have to go our ATAR, so 59. No, nah, no, nah, we're a bit smarter than that. Look what we put together. I know, I know, but we gave them 33. That's all right. That's in the past. Based. That's in the past. So what, we give ourselves 70? 70, 70. We're not stupid. Um, yeah, we know what we're doing. Yeah. Style. You've got good style. I'm getting there. 82. Okay. Social. I think oh, the high. podcast puts that has us to be up. in the nineties. I just I and, really do. And we believe communicate that. with people very well. Yeah. Outside of this, so, yep. Ninety four. I'm happy to bump us up there. Sex appeal. <laughs> Not ninety four. Um, in the eighties, we'll just go like an eighty two again. Okay. Yeah, we'll just. That's nice. Four hundred and twenty divided by six. Seventy one overall. Silver. Okay. So only just below Musk. Yeah. So we're coming. If we had money, bro, he's got no. He's got nothing on us. 70, wait, 71 overall? 71 overall. That's pretty good. I'd give us a rare card as well. Maybe and an Yeah, like I said, Muskie, if, um, if we had money, bro, you'd be done. Like us in the team of the year for silver cards. Yeah, silver team of the year, definitely. I think we gave ourselves some generous things there. But oh, look, mate, that's what happens when we run the show. Very true. We can do what we want. Um, very good question. Interactive. I like it. Um, very good from Dukes. Yeah. Yeah, the boys. 
Man's on a tractor. So I've got a couple of things for you. One for Dill, mate. One of the best drinks. Double black mixed with a Midori. Try it out. Let me know how you All go, right. buddy. Interesting. Thank you. And another thing. If you could be locked in a room for one night with any three people in the world, who would it be? Mine would probably be Joe Rogan, Marky Mark Wahlberg, and Matthew Johns. Let me know. Okay. I'm a big Marky Mark fan. Yeah, Marky myself. Mark. He seems like a good bloke. His um, burger chain's coming to WA. All burgers. Down in Rockingham. Can't wait for that. Um, Bit of a trek, but... I wouldn't have three blokes in the room. No. If you're locked in a room, you probably want and your it's girlfriend. Not my, and and it's, no, but let's do three random people, just because it's... Well... It's like, it's meant to be, you know, famous people. Yeah. Yeah. What, three famous female... Models. Yeah, yeah, but it is what it is. Just a question, or, you know. Yeah. <laughs> or then, like we've done the dinner dinner table shit before. Like. Locked in. I'm locked in a room. It's not my fault. Ah, this sucks. Yeah. You can only. Okay, so three, three, three people. I would pick Jennifer Aniston. Yep. Big fan of Jen. Mm-hmm. I would pick. Who else would I like? Would you have any blokes? No, nah, no, nah, okay. nah, no point. <laughs> 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 um, Jen Aniston will go. Oh, this is tough, isn't it? Yeah. Do you want like an, a Nikki or a Cardi? Oh, that could just be fun. Spice just to spice up. things up. I want Beyonce in the room. Okay. I think she's a beautiful you can have soul. Beyonce. This is our room. Yeah. So we've got Jennifer Aniston, Beyonce. Who else? Shakira. That's a good one. Yeah. She can be all right. There you go. There That's you a go. good room. Not bad. Locked in. Unlucky. Also, a little... um, Someone just sent in a voice message just then. Hasn't mm-hmm. been opened. And I thought this is going to... Because she sent it in mid-podcast, we're going to do it as a lucky dip. Okay. See so, if it's good. Yeah. We'll do it after this one because yeah. I got Jimmy ready to go. Easy. Hey boys, me and my mates were having a bit of a discussion and we came across this. Uh, would, do you reckon uh, lesbians would actually be able to lose their virginity since a penis isn't actually inserting them? So, yeah, I don't actually know. Interesting. Can't wait for the LGBTQ community to come for us on this one. Yeah, and at the end of the it's day, been a while. by definition... We did look it up. We, we did look it up and... The by definition, so okay, let's do this again. Hey Siri, what's the definition of sexual intercourse? Sexual intercourse means sexual contact between individuals involving penetration, especially the insertion of a man's erect penis into a woman's vagina, typically culminating in orgasm and the ejaculation okay. of semen. Yeah, so Apple is saying that it is the penetration. Of someone into another person, but then it says man's penis into, into woman and an orgasm. Yeah. So look, it's up to interpretation. If your views on sexual intercourse is different, like and for example, for, for example, if there's either a strap on involved or a finger or two, like does that count? Fingers don't count. Yeah, I don't know if strap ons do. Not my realm, mm. but maybe it does for for the lesbian community. Yeah. Let us know if there's any lesbians out there. If there's there's any lesbians who listen to us and you've never had sex with a man, do you feel like a virgin or not? They probably, I feel like they wouldn't. No, no, they'd feel like they have definitely lost their, yeah, Yeah. they get it on. They, I've heard like they do hours of foreplay. Yeah, I think the gay community in general is quite sexual. I know from what um, a mate who is a PT, has a gay client, the gay client tells him, it's pretty easy to get some as a gay yeah. man. They just they're quite open. They love it. I mm-hmm. I remember it. Um, quite open. I was yep. at a festival. Uh huh. In front of me, two blokes were just dancing separately. Mm-hmm. Bump into each other. They instantly knew they were both gay. Okay. Like they they knew each other were gay. Sorry, they well, probably know they're gay. The glitter on the cheek. One yeah. did have glitter on the cheek. Yeah. And they just locked eyes. Boom. Start making out. Yeah. And um, then toilets. Do you have a condom? Really? Straight to the toilet. Sex time. Ridiculous. That quickly, bro. That's crazy. They move quick. They do. They move fast. They're efficient. Exactly. So, yeah, have fun. That's why we love them. All right. This is the lucky dip. So this is the lucky dip. Look, 
there's a lot of voice messages that don't make it. Now, this one could be absolute shite. Young Nicola. But it could be good. Let's have a look. Hey, Gemma and Dylan. Love the podcast. Just a quick question. Why do boys put the toilet seat up when they go to the toilet? Like, I just don't really understand the need to do that, like, touching the gross, dirty toilet. Like, I need answers. Nicola is um one of my favourite girl names as well, just yeah, in general. It is quite yeah, good. I do like that name. So. Um, female version of Nick. Um, so that's actually not a bad voice message. Yeah, that's pre- that's that, that would have made the show regardless. Good I job. Think. Um, so for example, men can aim their pee, right? Yeah. Sometimes the flow will not be as streamlined, and there might be some little yeah frayed edges or whatever and you don't want to piss all over the seat you don't want to piss on the seat so exactly it's a sign of respect to lift the seat and pee into the toilet because then obviously you put the seat back down then the girl can go into the toilet if need be yeah and you don't have to clean up pee after exactly um so so in in general our aiming is quite good yeah but there are definitely times when you know you might Accidentally, yeah. Sometimes it just sprays. I don't know. Yeah. Well, there just well, things happen. You think know? of your your pee flow in the middle of peeing to the end. Yeah, it drops. Sometimes you have to shuffle forward and make sure yeah, it goes yeah, in. I know. Yeah, yeah. So that's the reason why. Pretty straightforward, but you know we're enlightening. Like good etiquette. We're enlightening the young women of today's society. Good etiquette it is of us. Etiquette. Lads. Hey boys. Um, I just want to know your thoughts on this. So, um, I like wet picks, obviously, as Australians do. Okay. And, um, I've asked my mates about this and they say it's really weird and it behaves disgusting, but I have my usual, like, four wet picks or whatever, put the milk in and then I put, like, vanilla yogurt on top. So, I'm just wondering what you guys think about that. It's fucking that good. I've had it for my whole life and, um, I guess... Maybe my parents made it up if no one else does yeah, it. Yeah, so he just goes on a bit. Yeah, better. he just, just whacks a bit of yogurt on I top. I don't, personally, I don't rate that. I don't rate it because you've got milk in the bowl mm. and then you've got yogurt on top of it. So basically, yogurt is like a thicker milk that's flavoured. Yeah, but I just wouldn't do that. To me, no. that's a bit. I don't eat wheat bix that often. No, I go through slow, like I think they're phases. they're slightly overrated wheat bix mm. just as a cereal. I think versatile as they a cereal. Are, I just think they're a bit overrated. Like they're still good. I like them. I do think they're overrated, okay. and I don't have them that often anymore. But right. I used to go through stages, obviously as a teen or a yeah. kid, where you'd eat them all the time. I used to have like thirty a day as a kid. Yeah, it's a lot. Of, I used you to can, do like breakfast, lunch, and dinner sometimes. Oh, just really? As a challenge. Wow. Like Brett Lee can do nine at breakfast. I'm gonna do twelve. Yeah, Tim Kale, he used to. Yeah. Get a few, but you know he was banging in goals in England. Yeah. So and then they, all, they also wax some some banana, yeah, some strawberry, something like that. Yeah, and I wasn't into that. Neither, because I don't want the milk on my fruit. No, like exactly. That. Yeah, exactly. See, that's the thing. We're picky, but for a reason. Yeah, stuff like that. But like, my, something shouldn't be mixed. My dad mixes everything in a dessert bowl. He'll put okay. ice cream, cereal, put a fucking um a milk in there, everything. Just yeah. a big. Dirty bowl of fucking I don't know, bro. Nonsense. Nonsense. Yeah, it makes no sense. Exactly. Hey boys, we, we love, love the party. Um, quick question: Do you guys know what icks are? So me and my Jesus. friend always talk about icks. Like, if we get an ick for a guy, <laughs> let us know if you know what an ick is. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> hey boys. <laughs> we love Appreciate the enthusiasm, the girls. The enthusiasm was off the charts. Danica, Danica. That's funny. Oh, my as. goodness. <laughs> X. Yeah. I've seen this on um in, on TikTok a lot. It was okay. a big trend of girls saying what guys... So, yeah, it's just things you don't like about someone or things that turn you off about Oh, them. yeah, just an ick. Like, yeah, just e- like, ill. What's an, what are, what are a, girl icks? I call them ooeys. I hate when you're around women who just say how shit men are. Yeah. That gives me an ick. I'm like... Yeah, ones that just oh, burp yeah. and fart. Yeah, disgusting. I know, it's, it's natural, but just no. Keep it. Keep I, it in. I don't do it around girls. I don't know so go outside, you farm animal. If you do that around <laughs> me, disgusting. Honestly, you keep it. Like I don't rate that at all because it's oh. just common courtesy. Yeah, yeah. 100%. So yeah, don't rate that. Um, what's another ick? Oh, there's a few icks. A few icks. I reckon like I hate when picking your nose. Keep it for another time. I hate when girls or just it's even people in general, but like. Put z- completely zero effort into how they look okay. and just come looking raggedy. Mm. And I'm like, well, it's not, you're not like empowering looking like shit. Yeah. Come on, try. Like, us lads, you know, we try and put a cool shirt on, yeah, make no. our hair nice, trim the beard. Mm. Like, we're trying we, as well. We, like, 
So makeup isn't socially accepted for guys. No. So we just have to roll with what we exactly. have. Exactly. Use a, a lucky. Yeah. Yeah. Then, exactly. Then off we like try. I just I think people should try. You should try in the world. Women are lucky that they have makeup. Yes. So yeah. use it. Like it's good for you. You're, yeah. You're, it's a gift. <laughs> if you wear it too much, we've seen. What yeah. Happen, yeah. But yeah. And what else gives me the ick? Has to be a few more. Ifs. Oh, when when girls or people like at school, yeah. the loser kids would like um, if there was say there was music playing mm-hmm. on like a fa- fair day, you know, like yeah. Lumen Day, and they would start like in sync dancing in the middle yeah. of the in the school, like mm. loser stuff like that. <laughs> when girls sing too much, like pretend they're Ariana Grande yeah. and do the high, and they go like, eh, yeah, just get uh, too that, loud yeah, in that general. A, that annoys me. Way too loud. Ick. I'm like, um, oh, dumb bitch. I've seen a lot, like, I've seen ones about girls talking about guys where, like, when you're at a buffet and he's picking the food, just, like, oh, one is guys watching movies alone. Some girls think that's, like, that gives them the ick, I've seen. Yeah, I've seen, bro, women rip into men on this trend on TikTok. That's fucked. Yeah, a lot of it's just for being a boy. Like, a lot of the stuff is, like... That's like me (laughs) saying, oh, my ick is when a girl's not in the kitchen. (laughs) That's a big ick, though. Yeah. (laughs) Um, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I think they're pretty fair. What else? What else anno- like gives me the ick about girls? A few ewies, underarm hair. Oh, come on. <laughs> that is not, like, that's just, if that's what you want to do. Go for cool. it. But, oh, but, when but, girls but, have really hairy forearms. Mm, you know, some girls have really. More than me. Yeah, no, more than both of us, bro. Some girls have really hairy forearms and that's yeah. a bit like. We get what you're trying to do. You know? Yeah, hairy underarms, that's pretty crazy. It is wild. Yeah, I don't accept that. Mm. Not in my society, <laughs> bruv. <laughs> your society, your warped reality. That was a very enthusiastic hey boys. Hey boys. Yeah, but girls, tell us some icks about guys. Leave it in the comments. Yeah. Or I'm sure this will... Um, some girls will get mad about this, like they did about the universal thing. Oh, that was ridiculous. We have a chat about a, a store. One girl, I saw a comment, bro. Humble yourself, hun. I don't mm. want to talk to you either. And it's like... Or they're like, it's just my job. Don't get mad at me. I know it's your job, but you're still annoying. Do you know what I mean? And then they're like, you're oh, still annoying. Imagine being pissed off at job. people being nice to you. No, I'm pissed off because you're annoying. Yeah. You're not nice, hun. You're annoying. And like, I know it's your job. I understand that, but that doesn't mean it's not an annoying job. It's like the guy who gives parking tickets. Yeah. Job, but he's a cunt. It's annoying. <laughs> you're still annoying just because it's your job. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> That's not a get out of jail yeah. free card. <laughs> Insane. Hey boys, love the potty. Um, I always had a question for you. I was just wondering what your views are on posting a story and saying day for it. Because my housemate absolutely hates it. He like always takes the piss out of me every time I do it. And I probably do maybe two or three a week saying day for it. Especially <laughs> too much. holidays and summer when actually like is a day for it. So <laughs> I'm a bit of a slut for it. But yeah, I was wondering what, what you boys um. reckon about it. Cheers. So today would be day for it. Yeah, it's 40 degrees. We're off to the beach after. Two to three a week's way too many, bro. Day for it. I've never posted an Instagram story saying day I've for n- it. Maybe we'll do it today just to I take mean, the piss. We'll tag him as well. But um, I, yeah, if you, you know, if it's a, if you're with the boys, you know, it's a nice view, you got the beers, you're yeah. allowed to post it once. Yeah. If you're posting it three times a week, I see why your roommate's having a crack at you. Yeah, it's sort of seen as like a, come on, mate, you've done a few already. Yeah, come on. Grow it's up. It's not the day for it anymore. No. Nah. I'm a bit of Yeah you know I do post it cause What is it The day for being a dickhead <laughs> I love how many times He said it as well All Day right. for it Stop like, for it And he even gets mad When it's like A day for it And I post it Insane <laughs> Alright Three confessions Slash questions End off the potty Round you it off Let's start go this one yeah, off? Let's bang it out Alright Keep it anonymous Bit of discussion point here So He was on New Year's Eve Out clubbing Standard As the clock strikes Midnight a fat girl, stranger, grabs me on the cock. Ick. I look down to see her. She laughed and walked away, thinking nothing of it at the time. A couple of days later, I began thinking it was the if it was the other way around, there would be major repercussions and I would be in serious trouble. Thoughts, lads. Meaning, do girls get away with that, e- that easier than blokes would? Yes. 100%. Of course. Of course they do. That's just the way the mm. society I is. I was touched by a male dressed as a woman and there were no repercussions yeah. from that. Did you enjoy it? No Not way. Not at all. Scary? No way. Scary, yeah. yeah. Um, it's fun in Thailand though. 
like when, when you you know when you're a kid and you walk past and they're like boy <laughs> you know when they do that when you walk past yeah. that's funny yeah <laughs> you're like 11 and they're yeah, trying to like, grab boy, you come here yeah. oh, shit it's crazy crazy place but yeah, um, but yeah was, in western society like for example if we go to a club and like this bloke if so a girl went up to a bloke smacked his ass huh? But if you go up to a girl and smack her ass, you you probably get kicked out of the club, you know? But this this fat girl has grabbed his penis. Fat girls have confidence, like we've said. It's weird. They do. It's weird. Go grab another donut, babe. (laughs) You know? Not a a randoms. Hot dog before the real hot dog. All right, a bit of a relationship one here. Okay. Hey boys, I've got a question for you. What's your opinion view on girlfriends not letting their boyfriends watch porn, getting mad if they watch porn because okay. they think it's disrespectful as they're getting turned on by other girls? I think it's a bit over the top because it's a natural thing to watch porn, both males and females, but some girls I know really don't approve of it and see it as a red flag. What do you think? Love the potty, lot of love. And that's from a girl yeah. as well. Okay. Um, blokes watch porn from, what, probably four, 13 yeah, it's 13, a part of growing up, bro. It is. So, if you've done something from when you're 13 to when you lose your virginity or to when you get a girlfriend, right? Yeah. It's hard to just switch that off, right? Now, I don't think there's a problem with it. Like, if girls, if girls want to go watch porn, as, go for it. It's as common it. as girls wearing makeup. Yeah, yeah. So, don't wear makeup. Yeah, I still would still watch yeah. it. But, yeah, if, no, like, I, I think I'll it's okay, it. you know? Um, Yeah, I think it... It's okay. Obviously, if there's an addiction thing happening, then there's probably... Oh, too much you know, of anything isn't good, you exactly. know? Exactly. But, um, but, you know, if, like, let's say your girlfriend's on holiday, right? Yeah. A few weeks away. It's better if you go on the old hub, then... Yeah, then uh, cheating. Down to Brooklyn's and... Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, Brooklyn is not a girl. It is a... It's a pub. Yeah, pub. Just to let you know. Um, but you could find a Brooklyn at Brooklyn's. You could. If yeah. you weren't on the hub, like mm, a good man. Exactly. <laughs> a good man would be <laughs> on the hub. You've got a faithful boy if he's on the hub. Exactly. And they're saying it as the opposite. Well, she's she's good though. Yeah, she was she a was very open-minded young lady. Yeah. Good for her. Or maybe even in your relationship, have an experience together on the hub. Yeah, right? I've watched porn before with, yeah. with Carly. And yeah. then, like, that's a good way of her understanding. Normalising it. It's not yes. weird. Yeah. Yeah. That's like the stigma talking, like, when we never used to like to say the word come, so we'd change it to boom. Yeah, 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 right? yeah. Like, there's a stigma around that. Knock it on the head with something productive. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom. Hey, boys, just started getting into the potty. Bit late. Was <laughs> <laughs> Was hearing about your boys talking about parents kissing their kids on the lips. Yeah. When I was in year nine, there was a brother and a sister, year eight brother. Okay. Year 11 sister. Big gap. And they would hug and say bye, but they'd kiss on the lips. Disgusting. See you, bro. Yeah, no, keep it. That's, come on. Get it out of the family. You can do the hug. See you later. Oh, the hug's fine. Probably every day at school. A bit full on. Like, she's just taking care of her little brother. That's nice. See, mm. I have a good day. And, but you don't need to give him a smooch. To do that at school, bro, what is going on at home? That's like 200 times a year. What is going on at home? Yeah. What, who knows what they're doing behind closed doors? That's a weird house, bro. We need to call yeah. Child Protective Services or is something. Is it a peck? Is it like a, a little half a second? Even or is if it, it like a two that's second, still three second? A half, that's half a second too much. Imagine they whack the tongue down. <laughs> Imagine you're just, you know, walking through school, year nine, and then Start you look fishing. over, brother and sister, see you later. Yuck. That's a big ick. That's one of the biggest That's icks. Ick. It'll be ick. I like that, the ick. It's very like TikTok girl thing. Yeah, hopefully that gets us 100,000 views <laughs> or something, you know? That'll anger a few ones. Yeah, it will. All right, that's where we'll wrap it up this week. Thanks for joining us for episode 65. Yep. We'll see you next week. Have a good one. Have a good one. See you.